In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this really awesome exposure flash transition inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you've got two video clips on the timeline like this, they're sat right next door to each other. So you've got one here and one here. We can now begin the exposure flash transition. So in order to do that, we'll just go to effects. We'll search for levels. So L-E-V-E-L-S and we'll drop that on our first video. Now we're going to go into effect controls up here. We'll scroll to the very end of that clip and we'll pull the white input level on the levels all the way down to a really low number. So let's go down to around 100 and we'll create a brand new keyframe on white input level by selecting the stopwatch icon. Then we're just going to go three or four frames back. We'll pull that up to around 150. Then we'll go back even more, so maybe 10 more frames to the left, and we'll pull that back up to 255. So you can see that slowly accelerating at that last point really gets bright. Now, if you wanted to, you can make that last keyframe even brighter, so just scroll through to the end, and then just increase that all the way up. So we're gonna go down to about 50 here. So you can see that is now much brighter. And then we're gonna do the same on video two, but we're gonna just basically reverse that around. So we're gonna start bright, and then we're gonna finish off by bringing that intensity down. So pull the cursor to the beginning of two, pull the white input level all the way down to the point where it looks overexposed, and new keyframe on white input level. Then we're just gonna go eight, nine, 10 frames to the right and pull that down to 255, or pull that up to 255, should I say. Now, when we play this back, you'll see, Instantly, we've got this really cool exposure flash transition. So that is the basic transition now complete, but there's a few more effects that we can drop onto this to really take this to the next level. Before we carry on with the video, I first just want to take a very quick break to talk about the Brooker Films Skillshare courses. And in particular, I would love to talk about the Adobe Premiere Pro course. Now this course is a three hour plus course hosted on Skillshare, and this covers everything you need to know to get started in Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you're unsure about anything, make sure you check out that course and the link to that course is in the description below. Now, back to the video. So first of all, I'm just going to add a blur onto this. So if we go into effects and search for blur, you can see we've got Gaussian blur there. So we're just gonna drop that onto video one. We'll go through to the very end and we'll pull the blur in us all the way up to around 100 or even higher, we could go all the way up to 200 new keyframe on blurriness. Then we're just gonna go a few frames over to the left and pull that back down to zero. Now, when we play this back, you can see that's going to blur as well as do the exposure flash. The problem is that at the moment, we're seeing this border around the video and that is because we need to repeat the edge pixel. So just select this box and that gets rid of that problem for us. Now we'll just drop Gaussian blur onto video two. We'll go to the start of video two. And again, we're just gonna do the same thing that we did for the levels, but this time with the blur. We'll turn on repeat edge pixels, then we'll pull the blur in us up to a high number. New keyframe on blur in us. Go over however many frames you want. I've gone over seven or eight in this one, and then pull that down to zero. So there you go, you can see we've got this really cool exposure flash transition with this blurring effect as well. Now, of course, if you wanted to, you could also add a little bit of fake movement in here to make this look like it's a whip pan or something. So at the end of the first video, you just want to create a brand new keyframe on position. But before you do that, just go over to the left one keyframe so we can see what we're doing. Then we'll go five or six keyframes over to the left and we'll create a brand new keyframe on position. Now, you just want to pull this video up to video layer two. Then when you're hovering over that first keyframe, just pull two over to the left to meet the cursor. Then we'll go over to that last keyframe, which is over here. And we'll just pull the position over to the right. Now go down to video layer two, we'll create a brand new keyframe on the position. Then we'll go to the very beginning of that clip and we'll just pull the position all the way over to the left. Now you're not gonna be able to see that video, so we're just going to turn off video one for now and we'll pull that over to the left of the screen. And we'll turn that layer back on and when we play this back, you'll see we've got this really awesome whip pan exposure flash transition happening. Now at the moment, there's a few things going wrong with this. First of all, you can see this black line there and that doesn't look great. So the first thing that we can do to fix that is just move those two clips up and then we'll just drag two 
down to video layer one, but hold option to make a copy. So hold option, drag two down, and that will make a copy. Alternatively, if you can't do that, so let's say you're on Windows, for example, you can just go Command C or Control C to copy, move over, and then paste it in with Control or Command V. Then from there, you just want to increase the scale of this layer, and that should fill in that black line. There we go. So that black line has now been filled in. Of course, though, as well, there is still that kind of harsh separation between those two worlds. So if you wanted to, you could add an adjustment layer on with a little bit of directional blur. So if we go to project and we create a new adjustment layer, we just drop that on top of that transition there. So somewhere around here, then we go effects. You can drop directional blur onto the adjustment layer. We'll pull the direction to 90 and increase the blur length. And there you go. You can see that's really starting to help out. So pull that all the way up to around 40 and create a brand new keyframe halfway through that transition. And then we're just going to go back on ourselves to the start of that transition and pull it down to zero. Then we'll go to the end and pull that down to zero. And when we play this back, you can see that's instantly resolved that issue. Of course, you can start to see the line here. So if you wanted to, you can pull this first keyframe over to the left a little just to start that process. But that looks really cool. So in this transition, we've got the exposure flash, we've got the Gaussian blur, and then we've also added this position animation as well so that it looks like a whip pan. So we've got the exposure flash transition, we've got a blur, the direction of blur applied to the adjustment layer, and then we've also got this whip pan transition applied on the position. So you can take all of these elements and create this really awesome transition. Or alternatively, you can just take one or two of these elements to create a really awesome transition. It's completely up to you. But there you go. That is how you create this transition inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.